Hey guys, Ivan here with the Old School Labs, and as you may have noticed, there was a lot of talk on the internet lately. Who's gonna win this Classic Physique Mr. Olympia 2020? Is it gonna be again Chris Bumstead like last year, or is it gonna be Brion Ainsley? Is he gonna take the title back that he lost? He won it two times, you know? And there was a lot of talk lately. Many people sent me these photos of Brion saying, wow, Brion is gonna take it this year. Brion is gonna reclaim because this does look absolutely freaking impressive. For this many weeks out, this glute, hamstring, quad, tie-in, sweep, lines, whatever is going on on those legs, this is good conditioning for so many weeks out. So what can we expect when the show happens? How lean will he be? If he's this hard at this point and he needs to cut I think like 10 more pounds, and he can pretty much, I mean, maintain the mass, maybe even grow a little bit. I don't know how hard did he go on his off-season. But take a look at those quads, the details, the depth of the striations. Just amazing, amazing for this many weeks out. And the peak of those biceps and overall his shape, it's really something special. It's outstanding. So many people think that he's gonna reclaim the title. But then this happened. A photo of Chris Bumstead hitting a twisted back shot that rocked the internet. Everybody is sharing this photo, everybody is amazed by it, and everybody is saying that Chris actually made some big, big improvements on his back, which was uh, one of the criticisms, not the only one, of course, it was arm, especially biceps, but it was back too. I mean, like, yeah, like biceps, that, that's a weakness for him for sure, but it's small muscle, like, it's not that important, of course, it's a bro muscle, you know, it's a show me muscle, when you say you will lift, people will say show me your bicep, they're not gonna say show me your quadriceps or show me your back, but on the stage it's not valid as much. It's always gonna be back and legs, because those are the biggest muscle groups, everything else is secondary, and there are also certain muscles that are completely irrelevant, basically, like calves and forearms, and they are important in creating a perfect classic physique, but in bodybuilding, no, no. Big arms, sure, they, they will give you a nice illusion of being a freak, a monster, but in classic physique, that's not really the point. The point is really being as big as you can with that weight cap, but showing as much, as, as much detail as you can, and also on top of it all, uh, there is a point of aesthetics, which is not the most important factor, Obviously, we saw that uh, at the Arnold Classic 2019 when George Peterson won against Steve Loris. He was bigger and more conditioned, more detailed, but not more aesthetic. So that, that was the example where aesthetics didn't win over everything else. And I think that did happen at the Mr. Olympia, because I think Brion was probably a little bit, you know, more muscular, thicker, bigger. A uh, tiny little bit, but Chris was way more aesthetic, he was way more classic, if you ask me at least, and I'm sure the judges saw it the same way. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I'm a little bit biased when it comes to Chris Bumstead, because I really love the physique, I mean, I really like the classic lines. Uh, me personally, I'm a big fan of freaks, of course, but I can appreciate a good classic physique, and I think, I think Chris is just perfect for it. You guys should know that uh, he wanted to be a bodybuilder, but uh, when he realized that he needs to be, I don't know, like over 300 pounds for his height on the stage, he decided to retire after winning his pro card in open. So he won it, I think in 2016 or 2015, but 2016 the classic physique was created and that's why he decided to keep competing. So he never really wanted to be a bodybuilder, he always believed in classic, he always posed like a classic, true classic bodybuilder, he believed what was on the stage during the 70s and the 80s, uh, which is not something I prefer personally, but I can respect that, I can, and I, and I see it, I see that he's a classic guy through and through, so his idea was to retire after winning that pro card, because he didn't want to get too big, he always wanted to stay classic, and fortunately classic physique was created in 2016, and he started dominating, 2017 he was second, 2018 he was uh, second again, and 2019 he finally won, very deservedly so, if you ask me, I think he, he, he blew away everybody else, because he is the perfect classic physique in my eyes. So back to his photo, like, did he make back progress? 
Yeah, yeah, I think so. I saw him training, I watched some of his videos, he was training really hard, really focused on that bag, and I think he grew it. But did he really even have to do it? Yeah, Brion made a lot of progress in the offseason as well. I mean, I don't know how these guys quantify uh, their progress, because they can't grow. They didn't add any muscle, because they were, in, you know, <laughs> within the weight cap last year, and could they get more shredded? I don't know, I don't know, I mean... Maybe a little bit, but they were pretty ripped, man. So I don't know how they even uh, realize did they progress. I guess they can take away some pounds from other body parts and add it to uh, to the new body parts that they need to improve. But it's really difficult. So I mean, Brian is talking about some details, working on details. I'm not sure does that even make sense. But anyways, whatever happens, whoever wins, it's gonna be an amazing show. But my opinion personally is that Chris is gonna win again because Brian he might improve he might come in better detail or whatever but uh, Chris is better as well for sure so I don't know what kind of progress did these guys make but I'm sure they will both be a little bit better and in the end of the day Chris is in my eyes what classic physique should look like and I think there is no way of Brian winning this year that's just my opinion it might change over the course of time I don't know what will happen with Chris so here you can see his legs, he uploaded this photo as well, which is something he was hiding so far, because his legs usually come up last, because he holds a lot of water in that area. Most people are actually, so he wasn't showing it until uh, recently, until today, and you can see right here that his legs are getting lean as well. So the conditioning, of course, is not going to be a problem for Chris, but we'll see when he actually leans down and uh, when Brian does the same thing, when we get closer to the Olympia, we will see how these guys will look, and based on that we can make more accurate conclusions. So let's wait and let's see what these guys update us with. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more updates before the Mr. Olympia happens, whatever you guys think, based on these photos that you saw, or their previous performance, whatever, just tell me down below, tell me who do you think is gonna win, but don't tell me that it's not gonna be an exciting classic physique Mr. Olympia, because it is, it's gonna be amazing. Or maybe you have somebody else winning, like Logan Franklin maybe? Yeah, I don't know about that. Anyways guys, once again, comment down below, tell me what you think, like the video if you enjoyed it of course, and please subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best guys and keep it old school.